Hi guys, this is Nicole Raman and in this video, I'm going to show you the process of making the 3D diorama model of bacteria cell. And if you are interested, just keep on watching. The following will be the materials to be used. Cardboard Construction paper and scissor Glue gun and glues Yarn Cell wall. Each bacterium is enclosed by a rigid cell wall composed of peptidoglycan, a protein sugar molecule. The wall gives the cell its shape and surrounds the cytoplasmic membrane, protecting it from the environment. It also helps to anchor appendages like the pili and flagellia, which originate in the cytoplasm membrane and protrude through the wall to the outside. The strength of the wall is responsible for keeping the cell from bursting when there are large differences in osmotic pressure between the cytoplasm and the environment. Cytoplasm. The cytoplasm or protoplasm of bacterial cell is where the functions for cell growth, metabolism, and replication are carried out. It is a gel-like matrix composed of water, enzymes, nutrients, waste, and gases and contains cell structures such as ribosomes, a chromosome, and plasmids. The cell envelope encases the cytoplasm in all its components. Unlike the eukaryotic cells, bacteria do not have a membrane enclosed nucleus. The chromosome, a single continuous strand of DNA, is localized but not contained in a region of the cell called the nucleus. All other cellular components are scattered throughout the cytoplasm. Capsule. Some species of bacteria have a third protective covering. A capsule made up of polysaccharides, capsules play a number of roles. But the most important are to keep the bacterium from drying out and to protect it from phagocytosis by larger microorganisms. Plasma membrane or cytoplasmic membrane. A layer of phospholipids and proteins called the cytoplasmic membrane, encloses the interior of the bacterium, regulating the flow of materials in and out of the cell. This is a structural trait bacteria share with all other living cells, a barrier that allows them to selectively interact with their environment. Membranes are highly organized and asymmetric having two sides, each side with a different surface and different functions. Membranes are also dynamic, constantly adapting to the different conditions. Nucleoid the nucleoid is a region of cytoplasm where the chromosomal DNA is located. It is not a membrane-bound nucleus, but simply an area of the cytoplasm where the strands of DNA are found. Most bacteria have a single, circular chromosome that is responsible for replication, although a few species do have two or more. Smaller circular auxiliary DNA strands, called plasmids, are also found in the cytoplasm.
ribosomes. Ribosomes are microscopic factories found in all cells, including bacteria. They translate the genetic code from the molecular language of nucleic acid to that of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. Proteins are the molecules that perform all the functions of cells and living organisms. Bacterial ribosomes are similar to those of eukaryotes but are smaller and have slightly different composition and molecular structure. Bacterial ribosomes are never bound to other organelles as they sometimes are bound to the endoplasmic reticulum in eukaryotes but are freestanding structures distributed throughout the cytoplasm. There are sufficient differences between bacterial ribosomes and eukaryotic ribosomes that some antibiotics will inhibit the functioning of bacterial ribosomes, but not eukaryotes. Plasmids A plasmid is a small, circular, double-stranded DNA molecule that is distinct from a cell's chromosomal DNA. Plasmids naturally exist in bacterial cells, and they also occur in some eukaryotes. Pili Many species of bacteria have pili, small hair-like projections emerging from the outside cell surface. These outgrowths assist the bacteria in attaching to other cells and surfaces, such as teeth, intestine, and rocks. Without pili, many disease-causing bacteria lost their ability to infect because they're unable to attach to host tissue. Specialized pili are used for conjunction, during which two bacteria exchange fragments of plasmid DNA. Flagellia Flagellia are hair-like structures that provide a means of locomotion for those bacteria that have them. They can be found at either or both ends of a bacterium all over its surface. it guys the process of making a 3d diorama model of bacteria cell thank you for watching and i hope you learned something